Well, hello there, guys. We're going to be playing a little bit of Battle Academy today. Uh, just to make absolutely sure, we'll go ahead and select the battle and we'll lower um, the volume just a little bit for the music. Now, there's a few different things that I'm going to need here. And of course, we are being invaded by the Germans. So I definitely want the British Bren gun. It's a Czech light machine gun. It's going to help a lot with keeping the enemy at bay. The British Scout will also probably be quite helpful. The problem is he's expensive, and I'd rather be getting the British Home Guard. These are hastily formed from civilian volunteers. They're meagerly armed, but they're pretty good at actually defensive operations. I think we're better off, though, with just the British Infantry veterans. I believe we already have the Armadillo, etc. We don't have to select that. And with our last points, we'll go ahead and snag one of those British Home Defense. And we will start the game. For anybody wondering, we are starting off in the middle difficulty here. Uh, we've got this mode, easy mode, and then full tactical rules and no statistical advantages. No, come on. We haven't played in a while. Let's go with the middle. All right, so German glider troops have taken the airfield. They're pushing back the local home guard. Uh, and regular troops launch an immediate counterattack. Our goal is to recapture four victory points, which as far as I can see, there's only four victory points uh, to secure a victory. Here we go, the British bombs. Man, talk about some rest. That's some serious shots there, guys. I'm going to bring the music down just a little bit, keep the SFX at a fairly reasonable uh, level, I guess. Let me see here. Second, while I restart this, all right, yeah, let us know in the chat if you, uh, if you see the battle. I guess on my new browser, I'm using Opera, but it doesn't let me see the video source, which is kind of weird. So first things first, we want to go ahead and move forward and see if there are any uh, Germans in the area. So I'm going to go here to Bethan and Ellen, this nice little tavern here, uh, and see if my scouts spot anything untoward. So far, I don't really see anything. I see a German main bunker there. I'm almost certain that that's going to have men in it. Now, another thing we can do is we can go ahead and immediately rally that group. So we're going to do that, get them back up to full strength. Well, actually, to get them back up to full strength, we have to use the medic. And that's what we'll do. We'll slowly bring these guys up to full strength. I'm heading out. I want to see if we can get that main bunker to fire. Uh, but hopefully on our Bren carrier, you know, something that's actually armored. So I'm going to move up the Bren carrier here. And I want to actually let the men out right there. Now, I could just open up on the main bunker. That would that would reveal it. Uh, I think the enemy would probably return fire. So let's go for it. We're going to support it. Oh, yeah, sure enough. I expected that. At least we know for sure that I'm not crazy. We definitely have enemies there. Um, an MG-34. Yeah, that's bad. And unfortunately, no air support as far as I can see. We're just going to have to get up to that damn thing and knock it out. It's that simple. Um, we're going to lose some men in the process, but it's certainly worth it. Start getting our trucks up here. And again, we will deploy the men. I don't know if these tank traps are going to give the men any sort of bonus. I don't think so. But I'm guessing that the enemy will eventually run out of suppressive fire. Only one on the effectiveness there of the LT, just one. The chance of us actually getting a hit there are not existing pretty much. So there you go. Yeah, I think, I don't, I'm pretty sure they can't return fire at a certain point. So we're going to try to push this home guard up. And these are, of course, pretty much militia units. Um, so hopefully they have some grenades on them. I think they do. And they can do an attack or an assault more appropriately on the enemy. with the small chance of a hit, I'm still firing. Just because, you know, even that tiny chance could, could make the difference between victory or defeat in this battle. Um, boy, I really hate moving these guys up with all the rest of the trucks in the way. I want to unload these troops, but I know we should probably wait just a little bit. Let's just hope that the enemy doesn't have any more Stuka dive bombers to send our way. Otherwise, we are going to be in a bit of trouble. Let's go, boys. We got some guys on the right side too. I'll take a look. But I see something on the mini map. Yeah, baby. So we've got an armadillo. I'm not so familiar with this vehicle, to be honest with you. Um, I know that it can fire. That's pretty much it. This seems like a, maybe a World War One era transport vehicle. And I am going to swap with that unit. There we go. Hopefully, he can get to the front lines a little bit faster. We'll also start moving out with these guys. 
I was about to say I should probably send some scouts out, but a bit late for that. And send this armadillo out as well. You gotta be lucky because I didn't even think to look in this bunker, but there could have potentially been some Germans in there. Now I think we're fine. Hey, Simon Kirby. He says, love this game. Thanks, man. Yeah, it's a, it's a really fun one, and again, kind of an oldie but goodie. Um, definitely something I would recommend. I say this every time I play Battle Academy. Uh, something I would recommend for first-time strategy gamers, uh, younger kids interested in World War II. You know, if you have a, a child that you're trying to get into strategy games, this is a definitely something you could, uh, you could use. It, it's very, very, very fun. So the goal now is take that damn bunker, man. And I know they're going to open fire the second we leave cover. Oh, should we get them to focus fire on the LG? I might do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open fire with the machine gun, the Bren, over here on the infantry, moving across the field, and force them to ambush fire on us. So, at the same time, if I lose the machine gun, I won't feel as bad because we're putting them in a risky situation anyway. But yeah, look, the enemy's return fire might kill us. At least put us in a pretty bad position. Another thing I want to do is get this truck the hell out of here. He's not doing anyone any favors. And we could potentially move the rest of our boys up a lot closer. And these are just scouts, but nonetheless, they should be able... Yeah, effectiveness of three, not really nothing. Still counts as an ambush, but who knows, we might get a suppression bonus, something like that. Unlikely, though, very unlikely. Kind of want to leave those scouts right there, um, oddly enough, and just keep the scouts in that particular tavern. Scouts have drank in that very tavern. Oh my goodness! Yeah, just noticed some e more enemies over there. We gotta be careful. Maybe we can bring one of these armadillos over. What do you guys think? Will it perform well on the field? Let's find out. Effectiveness of five. That's not very effective. But we did suppress them. Or where's that other group that was firing at us? I'm not seeing them. Yeah, so they might be over here, but we're not 100% sure. I'm gonna fire again. Looks like a nice little gun there on the back. Maybe something small like a 20 millimeter. We're gonna have to move the home guard up. I know they're gonna get shot at, but we gotta do this. We're under Man, heavy that's fire. so quickly. Let's hope that this home guard here can really bring it home. Come on, boys. For an assault, only 38% chance of an assault being su successful there. I think we have to open fire. An assault would be too risky. And we took out one of them, they're suppressed. See, now an assault would work perfectly. Unfortunately, now we're playing catch-up here. Let's move the British infantry forward. These guys have already seen some action in Normandy. Oh, excuse me, in... Um, Surprised that we didn't kill him there, uh, but that's all right. Now, again, we could let these guys out here, but I think we're going to have to wait another turn. We really do want to bring up everybody if we can. Uh, in those trucks, just because we'll get to the battlefield faster. So I'm not letting the men out right here. But unfortunately, this British Home Guard is kind of a pain in the ass right now. Here's what I can do, I just realized. Load them up into the Bren. Oh! This is something I didn't expect. Oh! Oh! Okay, that was bad, boys. Don't ever do that. Don't ever do what I just did there. I was trying to free up some space and ended up getting myself killed. Um, so what I'm going to try to do, I'm hoping we don't get another bit of return fire there. I kind of want to drop the troops off quickly now. Oh, boy. Yeah, I'm definitely dropping them off here. Um, we could also open fire there on the bunker, get even a little bit closer, and try to charge it. Let's do it. Salt that bunker, and we have taken it from the Germans. Got a beautiful British flag right there. We still have to take three, though. Actually, so we don't have to take all of them, technically. We could take three... The southern part of the airfield, and I believe that will count as a victory. All right, got to see where the hell we got ambushed from, though. That was, yeah, that was a, a scare there. How's it going, guys? Good to see you. Let's see if maybe we open fire. Hmm, we could bring the scouts out and get some shots. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I can't help myself. It's only real effectiveness. Again, these scouts are not really made for actual combat. If they have to fight, they can, but they're really made to just tell us where the hell the enemy is. Oh, wait a minute. I think that armadillo had a shot. No, never mind. Now, this British Home Guard unit could potentially have a shot if we move him here. But you know what? I'm going to start moving this way. I, I, the battle's ahead of us, not here to the west. We've just got to stay on course. What I will do, however... 
is I will let our unit get deployed over here. Standard British infantry. And sure enough, we get a shot. I thought if we got close enough, we might get Nice! Another German down, and they are retreating. So one group of German paratroopers, Volksjägers, uh, are running the hell out of here, as they damn well should. We moved just about everybody. Let's uh, use the tab button, kind of let us know if we've forgotten anyone. Nope. All right, boys. Here we go. Just going to move the British Home Guard up a little closer, hoping they would spot something. All right, Home Guard, you go first to the tree line. Oh, boy. Well, I see what we've got here. It's a German Panzerbusche, and we actually have a 56% chance of winning this particular attack. But there's another vehicle here. We got a 50% chance on that. A uh, 37 millimeter anti-tank gun. I think we have to, we can't charge. It's just too risky. We're gonna open fire. Oh man, that is so nasty. Fire. We got it guys, we got it. The home guard have done their duty. Now of course they're right next to a massive German Panzerschütze, but what I'm gonna do is try to get the hell in there and take it out for good. So let's take a look. We can't charge. Um, we don't have enough stamina, but we have a nice grenade for the enemy. And it looks like they managed to withstand the initial assault. Gotta give it to the Germans. When they do well, they do very well. And let's get that armadillo forward. We'll get this damn supply truck out of the way. I mean, maybe we'll have use for it later. I almost want to use it just to attract uh, German fire so we know where the enemy is. But that's not very proper of me, so I won't do that. That's not what a real general would do. Again, only effectiveness of four. I'm still taking it. There's one down. Good job. The home guard have destroyed a unit. Right now, our home guard units are doing really well. You really can't stand the Germans. Maybe we've got some uh, British viewers here that feel the same. They're doing an amazing job. So again, we've got a ripe German unit directly ahead of us. We want to open up immediately, uh, but not with the scouts. They're not going to do much, so we'll open up here. British There's one down already. These Fulsham Jaegers are being knocked down like flies. I absolutely love it. There we go. Another kill, and that time by the scouts. That effectiveness is great. And they're retreating. Uh, well, if they're running, we're chasing, so let's open fire. The armadillo. And again, the reason I'm doing that, I mean, here, keep in mind, they've landed in England. They're they're probably not going to be surrendering. Um, you know, so I don't want them coming back to the battle in full force. Full strength, I should say. That's just going to ruin my day. Here we go, British infantry. Welcome, everybody. Don't forget to hit that like button. And also, don't forget to follow me on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Maxenius. Hey, Neil Evans. How you doing, bud? The Guild 2. I haven't seen that game yet. The Guild 2. I think I've heard about it. I recently um, was thinking of picking up Talisman because I've heard from some friends that it's kind of funny. Now, guys, we have a morale boost, and we have um, an actual heal here, so I'm seeing if we have any wounded units in the front. If not, maybe we should use it on the British Home Guard unit here, or maybe that would be a bit of a waste. I think it would be kind of a waste. Um, we might need that later, so let me re let me just save that for now. I thought we took at least one hit, but it looks like our men... Oh, there we go. We did take one hit with the British Infantry. So let's go ahead. Let's get a reinforcement there, and end the turn. All right, we got a lot of Fulsham Jaegers getting over here to this base very quickly. I hope we can get into those buildings and just completely ambush them. Uh, but they'll likely see us as we're getting into the building. We'll see. I don't think so. I don't think so. All right, let's fire at the Fulsham Jaegers. Ambush. Nice. I was hoping it would count as an ambush. Unfortunately, it looks like those guys are in the safe zone. Let's get the home guard in the building. That... That tree line is in that uh, paratrooper unit. 
It's going to annoy me to no end. Hmm. Yeah, I think keeping a nice... Idea. And we got another ambush bonus. Nice. They are retreating. Um, I'm not even sure I want to move too many of these guys up very far. I don't want to be out in the open where the enemy can... And again, we have 20 turns to take this airfield, so I think we should, uh, if we want to take our, our time, maybe we should take our time. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to kind of move up slowly, but surely. Have a bunch of covering fire, etc. And then I'll just feel that much safer. Now, as for these guys, I think a lot of these guys need to get to the main airfield here. But we do have to try and finish off those enemy units. In the meantime, though, I'll get the rest of these guys up on the road. I should have moved them first. I hate the overlapping in, on this particular mission because of the narrow roads. Really annoying. We could even get them back into trucks and bring them to the battlefield. Not the worst idea in the world, but I think I'll keep my scouts here. Um, try to knock out the rest of the Germans. Oh, look at this. Oh, no! Never mind! Never mind! It's a German MG42. Just hanging out there. I didn't expect that at all. Well, now that we're here, not bad. We got one of the, uh, looks like, loader. And we can actually go ahead and boost their morale once again. We'll do that. Put ourselves in a very strange position. But I am now have to move forward with, uh, with the scouts. And let's see if we can eliminate that machine gun completely. Come on. Good work, scouts. And of course, it's going to give them a little promotion there. We can go ahead and feel free to push the armadillo forward. Let's just hope they don't have any more of those anti-tank guns. I think we took out most of them, but you never know. Oh, look at that. So at that distance, we can also use the machine gun on the armadillo. That is pretty cool. So I guess we ended up moving forward anyway. That works for me. Um, I would like to get a reinforcement for that germ for that Ren gun. Nice, and there we go, another promotion, and it looks like we have another shot as well. Look at that, guys. Killed six u enemy units within five turns. I didn't realize that was a promotion, but I'll take it. Hello, Robert! And the Agrippa Nots. <laughs> Agrippa Yets now. <laughs> and Agrippa Yets. Oh, I see. I like that. Good to see you guys. Yeah, I decided to play a little bit of Battle Academy. Um, I was going to do it on 4th of July, but then I'm like, wait a minute. This is, this is America's day. We're not going to play no British on America day. It's just not okay. So we did that. Um, but now I'm definitely going to see if we can't knock this mission out. I see that control tower. I might just go ahead and open fire on the area. So get the reaction fire. We got ambushed. Um, I don't know why the ambush appeared over us. Like, we were the ones that got the ambush. I don't know. Maybe we did. Um, but... We know for sure there are enemies here. We have some map indicators, those little red dots, although those are actually just the victory points. But over here, the red dots indicate uh, enemy Falschemjegas. Let's see what they do here this next turn, guys. I hope we get some fire. Here we go. Nice, the armadillo is firing. Okay. We've held them back for now. Retake the airfield before they're reinforced. All right. Well, we've got a job problem is that damn unit that's hugging the tree. You know what? Oh, no! I got really lucky that I didn't take uh, a hit there. I need to charge these guys. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Target Won the assault. Eliminated. Took the position. Stretcher! Yeah, we still got return fire with the MG. Didn't expect that. Uh, let's see if we can't knock that unit out for good. Hopefully that MG will not keep firing. I thought they only got two return fire shots, We're but it looks like down. maybe they get more than two. Here's what we can try. Hey, heroes, boys. Just don't be suppressed. Don't be suppressed. Oh, the assault is only a 38% chance. That's not good enough. I'm going to open fire. If we can at least kill one of the guns and suppress the machine gun, that's a hell of a start. Man. We're down. Yeah, we are down. What I'm going to do is go ahead and patch these guys' wounds up. Let's get the home guard out here. They're not going to be in the best position, but at least they'll see the enemy. The effectiveness is only seven, so I'm going to move ever closer. Come on. Oh. 
Can't even tell There we go, finally! And killed one of them. But unfortunately, the home guard, you know, they don't receive proper training. If they do, it's like a weekend training deal. Um, so they're, they're just not going to be the best shots. It's just kind of the way things are. And we can move this home guard unit. They're going to be right in front of that, of that German machine gun. But I'm going to make them do it. It's a lot to ask. Oh, fingers crossed, boys. 36%. And we're really gambling here. Oh, it was repulsed! It was repulsed! We attempted. Unfortunately, machine gunners seem to have some pretty good uh, close combat skills there. Okama Man says, what game is this? This is Battle Academy. The good old Battle Academy series. Alright, let's get that armadillo up. It was able to fire um, at that unit, so maybe it can actually hit the machine gun. Effectiveness is only one there. It's eight on this guy. So I'm going to open up. Nice. Got a retreat. No losses, but I'll take it. And we'll push this guy over here. I think we have a few more British infantry units. Quite a few. Most of the guys in the first wave are actually home guards. So our second wave is actually slightly stronger. And will probably be a lot more successful um, than that first wave. Also can't forget that we've got an armadillo here. Hmm. It's really risky to go out there, so I'll just stick close. Stick to where I know. And we also want to bring this Bren gun up. If we could get in one of those frontal buildings, that would be epic. There we go. Hopefully no more uh, German Fallschirmjägers out here. I don't think there are, but... They kind of seem to pop up when you least expect them. And we must also say this British Home Guard unit right here, the two of six, fought extremely bravely. They only have two out of six men left. Um, the problem is reinforcing them would take a really long time, so I might just give them sort of a supplementary, uh, supplementary role, like uh, staying in this bunker, pretty much. Make sure the enemy doesn't um, try to retake it, which actually in this game, the AI is not, not awful. They can uh, try and retake a bunker. Guard units so right now. Looks like the British are definitely in trouble. We're gonna have to use this montage, um, for sure. That is brutal. Absolutely brutal. And we could rally them up, um, but I hardly think it's useful with just one guy there. Hmm. Yeah, we'll rally the home guard unit <clears throat> right here. Um, they would actually benefit from it. And if they end up attracting fire from the machine gun, then then good. Um, then at least our other units aren't. So let's move them up here. All right. Oh, I didn't even mean to do that. Oh my gosh, such a mistake, guys. Such a mistake. I wish there was a take back button there. I was trying to open fire on this location. That'll just make it more of a challenge for us, my goodness. Um, alright, here we go. So only three on that, seven on that. I might actually... Man, it's bad. It's bad no matter what we do. We're Look at under that. Heavy just fire. dramatic loss there. We're not gonna go for another charge. Didn't work the first time, I'll work the second time. Let's just try to crack this nut open. Some well-placed grenades. Didn't work the first time. We'll keep on trying. Um, I think we've got another home guard unit. Hey, worried about that. Let's just hope that there's at least a little attack going here. Man, not even a suppressive, uh, suppressive fire on the enemy positions. You know, definitely over I mean, in a position like that, things are so bad that you just have to shoot at what you're more likely to hit. So we'll move up here. Three for that. What about here? Seven. There we go. Finally, man. Took us forever just to get a kill. Um, and we'll go ahead and push forward with this infantry. And get that armadillo forward. We won't lose this one, I hope. In fact, I'll open fire on that retreating unit. An effectiveness of 20. 
pretty damn useful. Hey Eric, how you doing buddy? Do I play tabletop miniature games like Bolt Action or Flames of War? Um, I started painting Flames of War miniatures two years ago and really got into them, but I never like actually played a game. I, I just I just like the miniatures. Um, I do like Flames of War though. Number one, obviously the World War II focus, but another reason I really like that um, that tabletop is it's very inexpensive. I like I can't stand 40k people paying like you know thirty dollars. Uh, for a tiny little character, it's it really pisses me off. Okay, man, we are in a in a bad way. We've broken through the airfield, of course, but that German machine gun, man, they are amazing. Let's see what they decide to do this turn. Stretcher! All right, we actually burned fire. Come on, boys. A little suppressive fire did no good there. Now, incredibly, we actually repulsed the first attack on the unit that was already dead with just one guy. He actually managed to fight off the Germans for one turn and killed one of them in the process. But, of course, he got gunned down um, as well. Now, let's see here. So, one thing I'm going to do, first of all, this unit is um, already quite decorated. Okay, that's that's bizarre. It was at 38%, now it's at 36 <laughs> We're definitely going to just open fire, but that was a little weird. There we go. Beautiful. One enemy down. Unfortunately, they have suppressed our unit here. Um, and the gunner is still doing just fine. Finally, we suppressed the machine gun. Unfortunately, we are now suppressed. I feel like we have to move forward, but it's not exactly the wise thing to do in this situation. Staying put is probably the wise thing to do. So I'm staying put. Um... We don't have much cover, but if we kill a few of these Germans as they advance, I think it'll be worth it. Uh, British infantry... Oh, man, only three of five there. That's not good. It's annoying, so... We could also move back. That's not a bad idea. So let me move back with the Home Guard. This gives another unit the opportunity to move in here. We're going to push the Armadillo forward. Let's see how he performs against the enemy here. Uh, and I think it's probably more effective to go ahead and try to take on the infantry. We can also use that machine gun, which is pretty cool. Unfortunately, not very good. Our boys didn't do a very good job. Let's see if the British infantry here has a better opportunity, better chance of ambushing them. There we go. One down. But again, for four attacks, that's pretty pitiful. Very pitiful, in fact. Um... Hmm. Both of these units are pretty badly damaged, so I'm going to move them kind of over here to the right uh, and give the stronger units the opportunity to go ahead and move in and take their place. So here we go, boys. This is a risky, risky, risky move, but it must be done. Oh, I didn't expect two ambushes. Three ambushes. Okay, never mind. Four ambush really? Is that is that the game we're playing right now? Okay. Wow. We really underestimated the Germans here. Um, I guess now we could try to move around here to the hangar, but I'm assuming they're going to have Germans set up in this position as well. We'll just move and see what we find. Yeah, there's definitely a German Panzerschütze unit. And since we're this close... I didn't expect them to be able to return fire that fast. We're going to try and assault. Wow. Only a 46% chance of a win, but I really thought luck was on our side. Sanitator! Sanitator! It's, of course, German for medic. And they're going to need one after that. Yeah, Bolt Action has no copyright on Sherman tanks in World War II gear. That makes sense. All right, let's end the turn. Oh, that sounds like a Stuka. That sounds like a Stuka. Stuka shot down. Nice. So we didn't even get hit by that thing. Beautiful. Fortunately. Our scout, there you go, he's throwing a grenade. Come on, scout.
scout. Oh, you were so close. You almost made me proud. Now these guys in the center are the British, actually. Uh, infantry. Got a little ambush there. Not bad. Managed to suppress a unit, but they've also ambushed us here. We suppress two of their units. We absolutely have to wipe them out, uh, or else our armadillo is going to get blown to bits. And one of the problems is the fact that we got a machine gun right there. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to use the rally on this guy. But I've got to take that position. So I'm going to go for the 68% chance win on an assault. And we actually did take the position. I didn't expect her to jump on the other side there. But we are in a defensible area. I was hoping we'd get another attack here. Look at that threat three, which is very good. Uh, what about these units? For an assault, it's a 71% chance of a win. That's also looking almost too good to be true. But then again, the fire effectiveness here of the armadillo is very good. Um, you know what? Let's use the armadillo for that unit. Good shooting. Thought he'd get the second kill. I'm just going to open fire because even with firing, guys, we have a 100% chance effect. So it's very effective. And the enemy has surrendered. Beautiful. Maybe we were just... We just caught a little break there. Now, typically, I wouldn't fire at such a weak unit, but since they are the only unit here that has bars, uh, I am going to fire at them. They, you know, they have a little more importance than their uh, their friends. So I'll move back with the armadillo. And the only reason I'm doing this is to get the home guard an opportunity to move up here. Damn you, Jebbins. Jerry Bastards. All right, let's open fire. We're pinned down. Damn. Really not having any of our shenanigans. Um, I'm going to go into this building. So the actual structure is better technically in this game. So that's number one, my goal. But also, we need to get into the airfield by any means necessary, by any means possible, really. There we go, even with just a two, see, that's why you fire even when it only says two, uh, effectiveness of two or three, still that chance, and in this case the home guard got their kill, they got their man, that's more fresh British infantry approaching, let's see what they can do to assist here, boys, full king and beautiful, get the hell out of there. I'm going to the assault. Threat now we could actually go ahead and take that position, the actual hangar. Um, so I'm going to move the other scout unit up here to assist with the hangar. As long as we can hold it, you know, that's, that's all we really need to do. I would have loved to get a suppression there. Take a look here at the chat in a moment, my friends. Agrippa Knots. I like I like the names that uh, Robert Roberts comes up with. Hey, General Tiberius, how you doing, buddy? Indeed, for king and country, my friend. All right. Hmm. Mm -hmm. We could also bring that armadillo over to deal with those guys, the paratroopers. But I think he's okay right where he is. Let's just hope this all works out. We'll end the turn. Wait a minute. We have two units down here. Just trucks. Don't care about the trucks, honestly. The machine guns. We'll bring the Bren over here for sure. Help with the scouts. And we'll also bring this Home Guard unit, even though they don't have much use. Remember, these are the ones that defended so bravely in that first wave. You know, they could still provide uh, some shots, which which certainly helps. All right. Wow. The enemy actually did manage to assault that position with uh, infantry units and every single one of them. Uh, I didn't expect that. Brutal there, but we did suppress them badly. And I think we'll have to about that. But that's sort of like trading a queen for a queen on a chessboard. It's it's really not that great. They're counterattacking. This is not what we wanted. Oh boy. 
Please don't tell me that they have armor. You really can't do it with armor. Good work, man. Target eliminated. Getting shots from the control room, and they actually got a hit, man. Are you kidding? I want to get this guy out of the way. He's just no use right now. All right, um, we are going to give one unit to the British Home Guard. We're going to see what's going on here at the control tower. Man down! We're going to have to get some more units up here to take this position. British Infantry 1 in 5 is not going to cut it. Let's move him back. We'll try and get the Armadillo forward. Hopefully no ambushers here. And it's only an effectiveness of six. I think it's because they're in a building. We did manage to suppress them, but yeah, not the not the most effective position at all. Let's see. We might actually be able to charge them. What's this? A sniper shot. Oh, that's awesome, man. So I guess this is the ability when we get the three bars. Uh, let's take it. <laughs> yeah. That's great. Okay. We probably should have given the unit to these guys. Just because they're the strongest on the field right now. Well, at least we spotted what the enemy has hiding here. Uh, we actually got an 84% chance of an assault win, which we did get. But they do have another German paratrooper hiding in that building. Sneaky little... Little German. Good work, boys. Getting a little closer to the control tower, although that is just with a scout unit. Also, I want to get this armadillo in a position where that unit can't just destroy him with grenades. So let's do that. But I think we're doing everything right. Hmm. He didn't really do much there. Okay. So let's just see. We have to take four positions. Remember, guys. Which I believe is just... We already took that one. I believe we only have to take two more. And that's a victory. All right. Let's see what the scouts can do for us here. Again, I'd rather lose the scouts than the rest of our men. And let's see if the scouts can get a victory here. It's those German paratroopers. Amazing job. The control tower is ours. And we're going to be able to use those British Spitfires... Uh, later on against the Germans, we hope. I saw those sandbags. I was a little worried there could be enemies there. All right, let's keep moving, boys. We're just going to move up this right side. I'll probably be going into these um, hangars just to make sure there's no Germans in here. Get behind the sandbags. Oh, yeah! All right, so I knew they would eventually show up. How do you guys feel about the um, the checkmate Bren gun in the sense that, you know, with like regular machine gun guns, you've got like the belt fed machine gun, but with the check Bren gun, you've actually got a cartridge that you stick in on top of the gun. Would that make you more or less likely to use a Bren gun? Here we go. Very unlikely that we'll get the hit. Shot. can actually take the sniper shot with our uh, elite British infantry. Let's do it. Nice. I love that. Uh, we might be able to do it with these guys, too, because we just got to three bars with them. Stay tuned. I'm just going to put the Bren gun here. way, honestly. I don't care if they shoot at this unit. Just don't want them coming this way. Alright, let's end it. Nice little ambush. We actually suppressed them. They retreated. <laughs> that was not the best move by the AI. Alright, reinforcements have arrived. 
Guys, we're getting reinforcements here for the battle. Let's get a couple Bren carriers. It's going to take them quite a while to get up to the battlefield. There's tank traps all over the damn place. Um, we're going to have to drop them right here, it looks like. Unless we can maybe go around up this way. Let's try. Yeah, that's going to be kind of an annoying um, way to get these units to the battlefield. Doesn't seem like they'll ever get there. Got a very long way to go. All right, let's move up with these guys. So I'm just hunting, guys, to be safe. Nice. Again, calling for the Sanitator, a.k.a. the Medic. And we just got a promotion there, guys. Beautiful. We'll move this unit here. Wow. I'm down. Did they fire from there? It seemed like they did, right? I'm oh, man. Down. All right, let's move up. You little I'm bastards. Alright, what we're gonna do, I love this unit, so we'll immediately go ahead, use the medic on him. We have to run the fire. But unfortunately, that airfield is a little bit of a challenge to take. Uh, but we'll just overwhelm it with troops like we did before. So let's get the Bren gun up here. I know we're out in the open, but we're so close to victory. Yes! Good shooting! That Bren gun is ripping right through the building. We've actually suppressed the unit. I think, though, there's going to be another guy right there. The light fortifications. Hey, Piero, Stanley Piero. Especially charging on paved streets. Good old squad leader would have had you units gr your units grinded even faster. Yeah, of course. Of course. Yeah, we're, we're, we're just trying to grab that last point. We're pretty much just trying to get a victory. If we were going for a more, um, you know, like, let's try to do ultra strategic mode, we would have taken the third difficulty, which uh, gives no statistical bonus or advantage to either side. But we're actually playing on, um, I think it's normal mode. It's the second out of three. Yeah, man, we're not we're not orthodox strategy guys here at Agrippa, the Agrippa Max NES channel. I don't know why people come here expecting, like, uh, like intricate like strategy like i'm playing uh, uh command modern air naval operations over here this is a game a child could play um very very effectively let's move that scout of course there's definitely that unit there i sort of i knew for a fact there was a new unit here the other question is is there a guy there i don't think so and once we take that i think the battle might just end it might make us go to turn 20. Um, but I'm just overwhelming this, almost like a Soviet-style assault. Let's see. Armadillo time, baby. Sammy! We actually could have done even more damage with this armadillo closer, um, because we would have used the machine gun. But I think, if I'm not mistaken, to use the armadillo's machine guns, actually got to be turned lateral to the enemy. It's kind of like a World War One type deal. For king and country, says Eric. Indeed, sir, indeed. Alright, let's see. Um, hmm. We might as well. I mean, the chances we're going to get it nil, nonetheless. We'll go for it. Alright, let's end the turn. Oh, actually, wait a minute. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that one in five there. So they aren't doing anything at this point. They're just waiting for us to make a move. Um, let's get our weak British infantry here. Let's force them to open fire. Hopefully we can get close enough to uh, spurn this unit into some action. Maybe let's try something like this. Let's bring the home guard over. Ooh, they decided to actually go up the street. Good on you, Germans. <laughs> All right, return fire, boys. There we go. At least we suppress them until next turn. Let's get our elites up. I'm really hoping... Wait a minute. Oh, -ho! okay. Looks like the enemy has decided to run away. Let's open a fire on them. Fine out. Beautiful. And they've surrendered to the mighty British infantry. Now, at this point, I'll try to get these guys the hell out of the way. 
Um, we've essentially done what we came here for. Put me here there we go. Even the Bren is performing nicely. Um, yeah, we'll open fire with the armadillo. So interesting, since they were yeah they were kind of diagonal there, and we were able to use the machine guns. So it could have been just distance. I'm not sure. Death to the German invaders, says Eric. I certainly hope so. All right, so we do have the four and four VPs, but of course we got to go the full nine turns, I think, uh, to get the actual technical victory here. Oh, wow. Um, so I think the, the place most likely to be overrun is over here on the left side, the hangar. Bring the armadillo over. Um, we'll get into the hangar with the Bren. If I can give him a unit next turn, I will. Although I'm not going to really lose any sleep over it if I can't. And yeah, I think we just hold for eight turns and that's victory. Let's try to get this guy off or out from the middle. Oh, look at that. We've got the British scouts. These guys are a very good unit that we've got um, in this area. I want to bring them to the hangar. So let's push forth. Oh, yeah, that's bad. Okay, well, let's see what happens here. And we shall end the turn. Wow, look at that. The enemy's definitely pushing forward. Um, I think we have got, we're going to have to use the Bren here. How can the Bren not see those guys? That's a little hard to believe. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually play my Medic on the Bren team. And now we use the Bren team to open fire on that German paratrooper. Boosting the effect of 29. Nice! Well, there's a lot of German paratroopers moving up here, if you could see. I thought it was that group from the building, but it's actually another group. Right, let's uh, take the home guard. I thought they'd be able to fire from this distance. Maybe not. Yes, baby. Completely destroyed that. Wow. Um, if possible, we'll get out of here with the armadillo so he survives to fight another day. Because they could overrun and just destroy him. And let's get our scout units. I refuse to give up ground here. I'm going to try to get the scout unit into the watchtower here. Sunny. Yeah, Sunny. I think we win this one. I don't know, Fritz. Yeah, let's get the British infantry over here. I think we're fine. Um, just to be absolutely certain, I mean, I will continue to boost these guys, the health on these guys. Just look at the entrance here. Um, of the actual airbase, though. We've lost a lot of good men, but we've also killed many Germans. Many Germans killed over here. Uh, and again, if we could just hold that airbase, the rest of our reinforcements will arrive. And we'll be doing just fine. Nice! Double ambush there. The enemy's retreating in such a stupor that they're retreating towards us. That's always fun to, fun to see. Um, I'll let these guys get the glory, the Bren team. Boy, keep firing. Got another unit over there that can ambush us, but the Bren team got an, an, another boost. And I think they're, yes, three bars. I wonder what special ability they get at three bars. I can only imagine. Hmm. Not sure where the enemy's firing from, likely over here, but I'm not going to move forward to find out. I'm not going to do that. I'm staying put. I'm not even going to use those reinforcements, to be honest. I love that they use their dive bombers on one of our supply trucks. We don't even need it, but uh, good on them. I mean, if they were going to destroy something, that's something they they knew they were going to be able to get a hit on. That's pretty cool, man. Yeah, we can't even get it, get there this way anyway, so let's uh, let's head back towards the glider. Same with this unit. And at this point, it's just a countdown to victory. So I will boost the British Home Guard. 
try to get that up to a full strength unit. Oh, they're getting close. They're getting close. Close, but no cigar, target I believe. Eliminate. Target destroyed. <laughs> Three turns remaining. Now, of course, if the enemy wanted to be really cheeky, they could just at the last second take back one of these points and, uh, you know, win the battle. But I, I hope they don't do that. The airfield is ours. That's what I'm talking about, boys. Wow, they actually are going for a last-minute attack there on the airfield building. That was interesting. Now, we did get the objective completed. We got a victory there, my friends. Um, but, yeah, that was that was funny there at the last second. They, they certainly used those Stukas effectively. And if we want to keep fighting, um, we now go to fight them on the beaches. Dawn reveals the German barges slowly approaching the coast. The local defenders know they cannot stop the powderous assault, the ponderous assault, but they are determined to hold as long as possible and extract a bloody price from the attackers. So this would be part two of the Dunkirk campaign. If you guys enjoyed watching this one, make sure to hit that like button down below, guys, um, so that we know that you want to see this in the future. Uh, for now, I'm going to go ahead and set up my defenses, and I'm definitely going to want those British infantry. They've, they've been so great in the past. I also like the Home Guard, but in this battle, we'll probably have to deal with some tanks, um, maybe some Panzer 3s or Panzer 4s. So I'm going to bring the British engineers with us, and I'll try to get some more Home Guards. That's going to be sufficient, I think. Let's get started. Overwhelming German forces are landing. The beachfront defenses must inflict maximum damage. To buy our reinforcements time to deploy, kill at least 40 German units within 20 turns. That sounds and seems like a really, really cool mission. Unfortunately, we're not going to be playing it today. Um, but look at that, man. That looks epic. Maybe we'll just get a machine gun shot. I can't help myself. Let's use that Vickers. Yeah, baby. We've already suppressed one. We'll try to suppress as many as possible. Nice. Oh, this is like British D-Day. This is amazing. All right, so we're going to just save this under Sea Lion. That that works. Sea Lion. Sea Lion is a very important mission. Uh, thank you so much for joining, guys. I hope you guys all had fun. And uh, I will catch you on part two. Um, we don't know when it's going to happen, but we'll make sure to get back to Battle Academy and finish up this operation, crushing Germany once and for all. Thank you again, folks. Don't forget to subscribe to us on Twitch. Uh, I'll put the URL here. This is really, really helpful if you can join us here. Too short. Wow. Okay. All right, folks. Take care. Thank you again.